ちゃんアクアですなんかめっちゃ緊張するわみんなよろしくねいや誰お兄ちゃんいいのオーラ走ってる闇系じゃないキャラ作りすぎえー、かっこいい役者さんって憧れるああお兄ちゃんこういうぶりっ子タイプには厳しいからなこの子はないなメムチョもかわいいねめっちゃ照れるはしね So every so often within certain anime I feel like there is just a episode that is like it's built for me and episode 5 of Oshinoko I feel like was that episode for me like there was a lot of comedy that went into this episode a lot of funny moments、uh, that were done almost like naturally within the show that just really got me to like really like belly laugh and just really enjoyed it It's no small secret that Kana is my favorite character in the show, as I'm sure she is for many of you guys. I, I am in love. I love her character. I love the cuteness and I love her, like, her sassy side, her side that's just like rolling her eyes and like the way she treats Ruby, the way she reacts to Aqua. Like, I just love her as a character. And, like, this episode, like, she was the star for me. My favorite moment this episode was definitely when Ruby and Kana were sitting in Strawberry Productions and they were watching Aqua's first episode of the dating show. And they're like, oh, he's going to be XYZ. I can't believe he's doing this. And he shows up, like, hey guys, I'm Aqua. And they're like, what the hell is that? What is that? Like, that was an iconic moment for me. And I, you know, I think in that moment, like, Ruby was like, that's not my brother. And Akana was like, that's not, that's not my Aqua. And then Aqua in the episode goes on to call, like, the YouTuber girl, whatever she is. She's like, oh, she's like, you're so cute. I'm, I'm bashful. And Akana's like, what the hell was that? He only called me cute. He's trying to gaslight me into joining this organization here. So she got all kinds of jealous, all kinds of mad. Uh, and even Ruby, too, kind of got like a little possessive of her brother. And she was like, Yo, I'm going to choose who you date on this show, blah, blah, blah.、Uh, and I just think that like every chord that they were trying to hit with this episode, I just think really hit. So let's go over the whole episode. But if you stop the video here, just know episode five was absolutely fantastic. Easily nine out of ten episode. It just hit every chord, everything they were going for, it nailed it. Uh, and I love Kana even more than I did the past couple of episodes, you know, just with this episode in tow. All right. So, first and foremost, you know, we, we pick up where we got left off on last week. And where we left off last week was Ruby trying to recruit Kana into her idol group with the recommendation for Aqua.、Uh, we find out early on in the episode that Kana is crushing really hard on Aqua because he asked her to meet up. She begins to even subconsciously be kind of like frantic and make sure her hair is right, and blah, blah, blah. She ends up seeing Ruby when she goes to meet him and she's like, What the hell were you here? And she was like, Her attitude completely changed.、Uh, and then they finally give her, like, Hey, join our, you know, join the idol group, whatever. And then it ends up with Aqua on one knee asking her, saying, like, You're the cutest, blah, blah, blah. Later on in the episode, you know, Aqua does admit that he's like, I didn't lie with anything I said to her. But he did gaslight her into joining the group. So she ends up at Strawberry Productions and、uh, she ends up signing a contract to be an idol with the backing and the support of Aqua and with Ruby.、Uh, so again, she did it, and I thought that that was some really funny stuff. Then we move on to the next part, which is the dating show. And I already talked about that already. But we see Aqua and the dating show. We see he's there with like, you know, five other actors and YouTubers. And、um, I think one girl might be a singer or something like that. And the purpose of the show is to, you know, it's a reality show and all of that. And、uh, they have to be, Kana and Ruby have to be reminded over and over that、uh, Aqua is acting. You know, this is, this is kind of like an acting thing. Uh, then we see that when he's talking to the director, you know, from the last time, for last episode when he made this deal, we see that the director promised him the inside scoop of Ai's dating life with all the guys that she had been dating before because he's put two and two together. He's like, Your resemblance to Ai is too canny. So he's kind of figured out everything that's going on there. So that's、uh, Aqua's motivation to really be, you know, heavily involved and give it his all、uh, 
in this episode as well. So that was really cool. And then to see him act and everything else, I really loved it. The other thing I really like is it also gave us the inside scoop on how reality shows are conducted, at least in Japan, very similar to here, I imagine, as well. But how they're heavily directed, but they're not scripted. They try and, you know, instigate real moments. Uh, if they happen to have actual romance, even better for them. If they don't, it's okay. They're all, you know, actors. They're all being paid to be here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I thought that was a really cool insider uh, view into the world of reality TV uh, in the context of this show. Uh, the next thing is uh, the Kana and Ruby decide that they need to go and promote themselves. Uh, the main person within Strawberry Productions, I forget what her name is, uh, but the one who's like uh, Ruby's surrogate mother or whatever, I forget what her name is, but uh, she tells him, like, you got to go be on social media. That's how idols, uh, they don't really pass out flyers anymore. They go, you know, via social media, go on Instagram, go on the TikToks, go on the Twitter, go on YouTube. So they decide to bring in a YouTuber named uh, Yuki Pond. I think his name is. His name Yuki Pond. Yeah. And he's a, one of those really weird. Jap Japanese YouTube is a whole different beast. Uh, but he's one of those weird YouTubers, I would say, that you know he wears a mask and he does really silly stuff. Apparently, kids like him. So he, he uses his platform to introduce Ruby and Kana. And then the episode ends with us finding out her band name or idol name. And she steals her uh, mom's past idol group name. So she goes with B. Komachi. So I think that is a really cool little nod to I uh, and a little nod to everything as well, too. So, again, really enjoyable. And even Ruby was like, can you just do that? Uh, and, you know, apparently she can and she will. So really great episode. Really enjoyed it. Uh, everything that the episode was trying to do, trying to accomplish, I think it nailed. Love Kana. Love where it's going. Can't wait to see more of Aqua in this dating thing. And is he going to have to actually date one of these girls? Or is Kana going to have competition? Even if he's doing it to just try and get a leg up, what's that going to happen with him and Kana? So can't wait to see more of that. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you guys being here for another week and another episode. This was Magnifique, and I can't wait to see more next Wednesday. All right, peace out, my friends.